So I moved house. Well, technically we moved apartments and I spent so much time over the last year making my downtown Toronto apartment a home. I spent so much time decorating and planning and DIYing for it and I really genuinely loved how I transformed it over that time. And just like that, I took it all down. I got rid of a bunch of stuff. I put a little bit of stuff into storage and we're starting from scratch again. So basically, we rented a car, an SUV to be exact, and drove and drove and drove and drove. So all that we have with us is what could fit into an SUV. And we landed here. So where is here? You might be wondering. This is actually my hometown. And it is a place that is much quieter. It's a smaller city. The pace is so slow and I love it. It's also a place where the air is so fresh. I can look out my window and see trees all around. I can see the skies to boot. Do you know how much of a luxury that is? In my last apartment in Toronto, I was facing another building and it was actually making me quite sad that I could not see the sky, okay? Here, I can feel nature all around me. I literally get to see deer inside of my window. Just a little deer action. <laughs> oh my goodness. A little family. And I so appreciate that. I appreciate the hills that I get to see. I appreciate the water. And let me just tell you about the water because within 15 minutes of driving from where I am, I can be at like five different beaches. And that is like so good for my soul. Something so simple as hearing birds chirping during the day and then crickets at night is just so peaceful and calming. And there's also just like something about the smell of the air at night in the summers that just like, I don't know, I just missed so much. So this place that literally has no decorations, no furniture except for this mattress that's on the floor is home, at least for now. And it makes me so happy to be here. I just genuinely feel so blessed. So I am literally so excited to get started with decorating this space. And usually I will wait until everything is decorated to show you the process. But this time I wanted to really take you along on the journey and show you what it's really like behind the scenes as I go through the process of decorating. So this new series, Homemade Happy, is all about me making this space a home through a whole lot of DIY, but it'll also be some more of the behind the scenes and also a little bit more of my life here as well. So if you haven't noticed already, I am beyond happy to be here. I'm so excited to get started with the process as well. And I'm so excited that I get to take you along on this journey. So without further ado, I actually thought it would be really nice to show you around my new space, albeit empty. <laughs> but I'll also share with you a little bit about the vision that I have for here and all the spaces that I'm going to be upgrading as I show you around, I think. So let me take you to the front entrance of the apartment. So this is obviously the entrance of the apartment and then right on the left I have something I am so excited for. It is a huge storage room slash laundry room. Now I am just so grateful to have the extra space because in my last apartment, I had a storage locker that I literally had to pay $80 a month for, and this is bigger than that and better and like in the apartment. So very thankful for that. And then as I go along, I have the entryway closet, which is just huge and enough space for all our coats and stuff like that, which I'm really, really happy about also. And then right next to that is our one bathroom. So this bathroom is actually really, really big and I'm so pumped at how big it is. Look at all this space that we have. Now there is a really big area for like a mirror, a light and a huge bathroom vanity as well. I like this mahogany color and I am going to be doing a bunch of upgrades in here that are all renter friendly as well. 
but I like a lot of the base items, so we'll see what we end up with. Um, I will just quickly show you something else I'm so pumped about, and it is a linen closet. What? I've never had one of these. Look at all this extra storage. I'm so excited for that as well. So, yeah, as I continue along, through this like hexagonal arch is our kitchen. This kitchen is huge compared to what I'm used to. Huge. This is like amazing. So much counter space. It's open. It's bright. It is so nice to me. I just love it. And I really, really also like the pine-ish. I think this is pine cabinets. I just like that it feels just nice and bright and uplifting, I would say. Now, before I move on to showing you the rest of the apartment, I do just want to tell you a little bit more about Life Proof Home because they are the sponsor of today's video and I actually started using them a couple months ago in my last apartment, game changer for keeping things clean. So let me just show you real quick how it works. So I'm first just going in with their primer. And this is an alcohol-based cleaner that both cleans and degreases. You can just wipe it in with a microfiber cloth. And now I'm going in with the ceramic coating, which is really what does the magic. So you just spray on the Life Proof Home ceramic coating and it basically makes the surface shiny and stain resistant. It becomes super slick and makes it so that water just slides right off. It's anti-fingerprint and my favorite part is that I noticed that if something like say ketchup gets left in the sink, with the Life Proof Home coating, I can just spray it with a little bit of water and it'll wash right away. Now this also works on glass and mirror, stainless steel appliances, stone countertops, kitchen and bath pile, and so many more surfaces, preventing stains and buildup and keeping things cleaner for longer. If you'd like to try Life Proof Home, they've been so generous to offer a discount code for 15% off on their website and on Amazon using the code 15DIYDELIA. So now moving right along out of the kitchen, through the hallway, we have the second bedroom here. Now, the one thing that I will notice about this room right away is just how bright it is. It is so bright, so much natural light is just flooding in. Also, the view from here that you can see trees and the sky and everything like that is just amazing. The room is obviously so spacious, so I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna end up using it as a bedroom or if I'm gonna turn it into like a huge office studio space. We'll see. Um, and also there is more storage, which as I've already mentioned, is like the best thing ever. Huge storage closet right in here as well. So moving right along out of here, we're gonna go into the rest of the apartment. First, we enter into our open concept living and dining room. Probably the dining area is gonna go here. The room is gonna go here. Obviously, I have no furniture yet, but hopefully that will come soon and I'll be able to make this place at home. <laughs> um, but yeah, the thing that I love about this, obviously super spacious, this is so much bigger than my last apartment. I love how bright it is, there's so much just sunlight coming in in general. Plus, the fact that the view is purely of like so many trees, I can see so much light and just like nature and stuff like that, I just think it's so awesome. <laughs> so jazzed about it. I also do have this like balcony area which is just huge to me. I mean, in my last apartment, we didn't even have a balcony. And um, now I have this, which is just awesome, you know. So I'm just so grateful to have this outdoor space accessible from our apartment. And it's just such a big upgrade from my last space. And then moving right along, this is the master bedroom, AKA where my mattress is currently just sitting on the floor. I am obsessed with how large this room is, how spacious it is. This is a queen bed for reference. So I've never even had a bed this big. I've never had a room this big. So that is very exciting to me. I'm also really happy with the amount of light that comes in here. That was a serious problem in my whole last apartment, if you couldn't tell. Um, I love how big the windows are. It feels just like really nice. And I love the view as well. It just makes me so happy. Then the final thing I do want to show you is another thing I've mentioned many a times because I'm so jazzed about it and that is the storage. I have a walk-in closet. I've never had a walk-in closet before. And um, I am thinking I might do some upgrades in here as well and make it like super cool. But even just as it is, like right now, I just feel so happy to have it. 
And um, if you haven't noticed, this space does not have a door right now, which I think is a little bit random, but I will be probably fixing that as well and adding in some sort of sliding door situation DIY. I've been thinking about it. Um, but yeah, I'm just super, super happy to be here. I feel so blessed to have this space, to have the extra space, to have the light that's coming in, the views, to be able to see trees has been like a game changer in my life. And I'm just feeling so pleased about everything and I'm super excited because I have so many things planned. So I'm really happy that I get to take you along for the journey. This whole series, Homemade Happy, is all about the journey of DIY and of making this space a home and of you know the general happy experience of being in this home and what this life is going to be like so i am super excited to have you along for the journey i'm super excited to share all of my upcoming diys with you as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye